school. It's your boy John B. Come back to you guys with a brand new video. Here I'm doing a number six guard on top with a ball fade. That's my boy Avril right here. He comes in every single week. So this is just a quick tutorial for you guys that have those weekly clients. Like you can see, like he still has the fade from the last haircut. So those people that come every week, they're relatively easier than the other people that come once a month or once every two months or three weeks, you know? So I'm using a Masters on one side and the, the Ball Magic Clip on the other. So here I'm starting with the one and a half open and I'm pretty much blending downwards just because his fade is mid high level. Like a lot of people in Hawaii, we like our fades higher than usual. Like. I don't know, that's just a difference that I've seen from like people in the States and people from down here. So I'm pretty much blending downwards. I went from a one open to a number one guard close to the zero guard close, I mean open, then close. And now I'm just flicking out the bottom line with my Andres Masters. And these Andres Masters are zero gap with a fade blade. So as you can see, I'm just buffing out that bottom line and you can already see the fade come out. He has really good hair, and like I said, he comes every week. It's really simple. But real quick, while I'm blending this back line out, I just want to say thank you guys for reaching 1,000 subscribers. And I know I haven't posted in a month, but I actually lost my memory card. And I've just been doing some other things lately, and I apologize for that. But it's back to the grind, back, back to it. So I got another tutorial I'm going to edit post up within the next few days but just wanted to give you guys this quick one that I just I, I just cut this dude's hair earlier today I just came home and edited it right now for you guys so as you can see I blend one side at a time and I, I leave that bottom portion of his hair because for me I've learned that it's easier to blend that bottom bald line in you'll see later in the video Cordless T outliners, making that first initial ball guideline. These things are finally starting to hit now for me. They actually got louder for some reason. I don't know why, but they're hitting now. I'm doing the pretty much the exact same steps on this side, but just with the magic clip. I'm actually thinking about ordering the wall senior. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on those. See if they're worth getting. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it regardless, but. I just want you guys' opinions, so leave it in the comment section. Like I said, it's the same steps, so I'll get back to you guys for the lineup.
So here I'm spraying the late red grooming spray. I like to use this because it hardens the hair a little bit, but not to the point where it's a hairspray. So I just touch up the lineup and try not to push it back. I usually try to keep it as natural as possible, but I do like to push them back a little bit because I do like giving sharp lineups. That's just my style. I know everybody has different styles, but that's just how I am. And this dude comes every week. So he, it, that pretty much shows that he loves it. Fresh, crispy, the whole nine. It looks cleaner at the end, in my opinion. I don't know, that's just how I learned how to cut hair. And you'll see right after I get all of this stubble off that I'm gonna hit it with the Andis Balder or Andis Shaver, whatever you wanna call it. And that'll, it just takes out the line easier. Watch, you'll see this transition. So take count to the steps that I'm doing. Say I'm flicking it out, I'm turning a clip around, blending it downwards, you'll see like that line disappears faster in my opinion than when you from doing it from the start. That's just what I learned and it's just easier for me. And you should try it out. You should try a lot of techniques as a barber. You're gonna get bored doing the same technique. So try different techniques, find what works for you and that's your style. Like not everybody has the same way of cutting hair. That's why I'm never critiquing someone. So just learn everything and be light-handed when you're cutting hair. Don't don't try to force a line to get rid of, to get to blend out a line. You have to be patient, and then it'll it'll come with time and rep rep repetition. And as you can see here, he, he does have. Um, I don't dry shave him. I do sometimes, but today he his skin looked kind of rough, so I, I just put a little bit of water on there just to help his line up make it a little bit sharper yeah you can see right there boom and i can do his haircut and honestly 20 minutes feel like it but i took my time because i was making a video so 
thank you guys for watching tuning in apologies again for not posting that much but be sure to subscribe because i'll be coming out with more videos so thank you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe john b out